everyone, welcome back to my eyeshadows art project. Today we are going to be making a patriotic wind catcher. Look how cool this is. You can hang this in your, you know, in your room, um, on a door, uh, your backyard. It would look pretty cool. And in order to complete this project, we will need a uh, empty paper towel or, or toilet paper roll. We will need glue. We're gonna use the wet glue for this project. We will need tape. We will need blue and white paints with a cotton ball and a Q-tip. And we will need a little piece of ribbon and red and white streamer paper, okay? So in order to complete this and get started on it, we are going to paint our um, empty toilet paper roll. We're gonna paint that blue, and I already got started on it in order for it to dry faster, okay? So I'm gonna paint this blue. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to add our ribbon. This is a super easy step. We are pretty much gonna tape the in, we're gonna tape it on the inside so it could be our hook, okay? So wherever we decide to hang it, that's where um, that's why we're putting that little hook there. So I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna add tape to one of the ends here, and I'm pretty much gonna stick that in here and just tape it. Okay. So there's one, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna grab a small piece of tape. I'm gonna stick that piece of um, ribbon in there, and I'm just gonna add some tape. Just like that, okay? The next thing we are going to do is we are going to start taping in or gluing in our streamer around the bottom of our um, toilet paper roll. So for this one, I'm going to use wet glue. All I'm doing is we're going to, you know, follow a pattern. So if I do white, the next color is going to be red, then white, red, white, red. And we're going to go around the rim, the bottom of the toilet paper roll. So I'm going to add glue right here on one of the ends and I'm just going to glue on the inside of the toilet paper roll. The next color we're going to do is red. So I'm going to add more glue and then um, I'm going to, it's okay if it goes like on the white as well. It's going to have to go on the white because we have three different colors uh, or we have two different colors, three streamers of each color. So a total of six streamers that we're going to hang around the rim and it's a very, it's very small. So they're going to have to overlap, which is totally okay. So I have my red and white. The next color I'm going to do is white. Then I'm going to go back to red. like that and then I'm gonna go back to so I have red so I'm gonna go back to white and then I'm gonna finish off with red so white Last color is going to be red. Okay. 
and we're doing red, white, and blue because they are the colors of our flag. The red and white are the stripes, the blue is the color of the flag, and the white are the stars. Okay, so there are my glued on streamers. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to paint in our stars, okay? So this is where the white paint comes in handy with our cotton swab. And I'm going to mix that a little. And all we're doing is we're going to paint in white stars. So there's one star if you, if you don't know how to draw stars what I recommend is drawing two triangles upside down so there's one triangle and you're gonna draw the other one upside down on top of it right in the middle just like that and there's another star so all you're doing is drawing stars all around the um, all the all around the paper towel, um, and once you're completely dry, or once this completely dry, or once you're done with it, you're gonna set it aside and let it completely dry. Okay. There's my, almost done with this. I'll do one more star here in the corner. This Q-tip comes in very handy. And there I have the stars around the paper towel, um, toilet paper roll and then we want to let this sit and dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this upside down right here and we're going to just let it sit and dry okay but this is this is all for the um, patriotic uh, wind catcher sorry I had a brain fart there um, but yeah thank you for watching um, and we'll see you next time have a good day